Hello YouTube, this is CompuWiz47, aka Zorcher from Doom Connector, and so we have finished our installation of DOS and Windows 3.1. Now, I'm going to go ahead and comment, because on my previous video I installed the sound drivers, and as you can tell, uh, I had a problem. The sound wasn't working, but it actually turned out to be a pretty easy solution what I had to end up doing was going back into the DOS 7.10 setup. So I had to get the CD out, put it back into my machine, run through the setup again, and tell it to, when it came to the prompt that says, do you want to install your sound card drivers, hit yes at that screen. And what it will do is it will list all the sound cards that it supports. And as soon as I selected mine, hit install, it installed just fine, and finally I had sound working. So that DOS 7.10 definitely makes it easier in that respect. So the only thing you're going to have to install is your video drivers and finding them yourself for Windows 3.1. So now that our installation is complete, we'll go ahead and run Windows. So we'll type in when and it'll boot up and there is the sound so as you can see the sound blaster driver that I selected does work for my sound card again there may be a different one on the internet I, I'm not sure I'll probably have to look up that information but if you use the default one from Windows you should be just fine it should work just fine for all of your needs so, um, to wrap up, I'm going to go ahead and comment on how to interact with DOS and uh, all the commands you can use. So, I'm just going to go ahead and go briefly through this. So, when you want to change a drive, you type the letter you want and a colon and hit enter. Now, since I have multiple hard drives, they're stretched from C to D to E and my CD-ROM drives are F and G. Now, if you only have one hard drive, then it's going to be C, and then your CD-ROM drive, by default, is going to be D. And then, always, your floppy drive is going to be A. But since I don't have a disk in there, I'm just going to go ahead and switch back to C. Now, uh, basic commands are, if you want to see all the files on your drive, you hit DIR for directory. Now, you may type in additional functions. I'll go ahead and feature the slash P, which means if it stretches longer than a page, then you have to hit enter to continue and display the rest of the files. So as you can see, here are all the files that I currently have. Now if I want to clear the screen, you hit type CLS, and that clears the screen up for you. Um, let's see. Also, you want to know about changing directories, so to change a directory, you find the directory you want, so we'll go into the temp directory, so I'll type cd for change directory, a space, and then temp. Hit enter, and now I'm in the temp directory, and I can type dir from there. Now, if I want to go down a directory, I type cd dot dot, or if you're in multiple directories, say C colon backslash temp, backslash temp1, backslash temp2, so I've gone into multiple folders, I'll type cd backslash, and that means go back to the root drive. So now I'm back in the base. Um, so the next command is md for make directory, and go ahead and clear the screen. And if you want to delete a directory, then you type del tree for delete tree, and then the folder you want to delete. And it'll ask you, are you sure you want to delete? And I'm going to go ahead and select no. So I think those are the basic commands. Now, if you want to edit a file, you can edit it by typing, once again, typing edit, a space, and the file you want to edit. So autoexec.bat. So, um, as you can see, DOS is, well, pretty basic. Uh, you have 
just the interface here and it usually comes with no programs you have to you have to bring your own here basically no no bells and whistles but anyway um, and for Windows that should be pretty self-explanatory so I'm gonna go back into Windows for now so um, now I'm gonna go ahead and give my comments on DOS 7.10 I actually should have used DOS 6.22 in this tutorial. If I would have used that operating system, I wouldn't have had any trouble with the sound and video, because I have gotten it to install just fine. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video, the sound drivers don't work with the memory management application at all in either DOS 6.22 or DOS 7. I have to manually go into the autoexec.bat and tell it just load normally. Don't use the memory management software to load you properly in memory. So my impressions on 7.10. Uh, it definitely fixes a lot of the issues that I've had with the previous versions of DOS. It installed very nicely. It installed pretty much everything for me. It took care of CD-ROM drivers, mouse drivers, sound card drivers, so I didn't have to get out the disks for those separately and install them in my video. Now, um, also, the bonus feature was that I didn't have to do anything with memory management. All I had to do was just install everything. DOS 7.10 did everything for me. It definitely made this tutorial very easy. So, again, um, my original in, in, my original intent for this video was to show how difficult DOS is to install, and despite having two problems, just not getting sound card drivers to work on my first try and Windows 3.1 not starting up for the first time in DOS 7.10 those turned out to be pretty simple problems to fix now I may go ahead and upload a separate video showing all the mistakes in my first tutorial and the problems I had with getting the drivers to work now, I'm interested. Any of you users who have been watching these videos, have you created a machine that runs Windows 3.1? And if so, what hardware did you use? Because I'm interested in finding out. Now, I'm actually using pretty modern um, parts to make this work. You know, I'm not using a 80386 or something like that that results in long loading times or anything like that. No. This, um, this computer supports pretty much modern applications. I mean, it, you could even use it for modern web browsing. Now, of course, you can't have multiple tabs open in Google Chrome or, or the web browser you use because my memory restrictions would prevent something like that. But, um... I'm just interested. What computer did you use? What hardware did you use? Or maybe you took the easy way out and just stuck with Virtual PC 2007 and installed it using Windows XP. Whatever the case, let me know. And, you know, send me, send in your comments. What do you, what did you think of this tutorial? How do you think I can improve it? Um, things like that. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Um, actually, I'm going to be uploading a few more. I'm going to be briefly, briefly going through installing Windows 98, Windows XP, and showcasing all of the DOS applications that I have. So this is CompuWiz47, a.k.a. Zorcher from Doom Connector, and I will see you next time.